From Playground Poker Club in Kahnawake, Quebec, this is Poker Night in America. What's up guys and welcome to Poker Night Presents, Party Poker Live at the Playground Poker Club in Montreal. Tonight Jason Kuhn joins the action and Samuel Chardier will look to put a tourniquet on his bleeding stack. Uh, oh yeah, 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 sure, I did. Blinds for this hand will be 5,100. Duffy comes in raising with the ace three suited from early position. Jason Kuhn, welcome to the table, man. Looking down at ace king, gonna three bet it. I thought Martin compares that to higher. Maybe he was wrong. Back over to Duffy. Suited ace, could call, could four bet. He's gonna take a flop. Uh, yeah, where, I think so. That's where, what I said. Where is that tournament? When? 10-3-3, um, three, three, huge yeah, flop here, for John Duthie. Now, he would probably wish his opponent had aces and kings, not ace-king, but it's still gonna be quite tough for Jason Kuhn to not lose a sizable amount of money here. The main question for Duthie, trap out of position or go for the raise. Personally, on a board like this, I think he should just call and give Kuhn a chance to barrel on later streets. Depends on who's coming. I don't know. So tough to say. Duthie elects to go for the slow play. The turn comes to the six of diamonds, and Duthie checks again over to last year's winner of the Seminole Hard Rock Poker Open Championship, Jason Kuhn. This is a board that's tough for his opponent to have too much. The only sets he has to be worried about are 10 10 or 6 6, and his opponent mainly is going to have hands like flush draws, a 10, or lower pairs. Now here on the turn, Duthie once again facing a bet, decides to go for the slow play. He wants to trap his opponent. He absolutely will value bet some very strong hands like aces or kings or queens. And also, if he has ace king and hits, oh, I don't know, let's say a king, he might bet the river for some value. I would guess that the average is 25%. However, Duthie has other plans. I'm not a huge fan of betting here. If Jason Kuhn hit this card, he's gonna bet himself. And if he was bluffing, now you don't give him a chance to bluff. Very tough spot here for Jakun, but really no way around it. Top pair, top kicker, you got there on the river. Sometimes you just have to see what they've got. All in. All in. Jakun actually decides he's gonna play for all of it. I was not expecting this at all. This is quite thin to say the least. When Duthie bets this river, he's saying he has a hand sort of like King-10, or maybe some kind of boat that wanted to make sure he got value, or possibly trips. He's not really saying he has a king, so this team is way too thin on the river. Wow. wow. Oh. Trips. Yes, that one's gonna work. That'll do. You see, you see, it was three about them check all, check all, right? Just explain to me what was going through your mind when you were counting your chips. Uh, Poker Night is brought to you by Kimosabi Mezcal. Queen out of clubs here for Jakun, fresh off of losing that ace king hand, looking to make things happen and turn the tide in his favor. Thank you very much. Raise the pot. <laughs> Rob Young, who's been quiet for a little bit here, which has been rare for Rob in the last few episodes, raised up to $1,000 for this Queen Jack suited. Come on, Jason. I match it. I'll match it. Fold back around to Jason, makes a bit of a loose call, and we're taking a flop. 10 6 5. Young flops a flush draw. Jacoon flops a backdoor flush draw. All right, let's go for it. He's reaching for chips, and he's firing 8,000 to go here and back to Yong with his flush draw. Now look, we all know Yong's going nowhere. The question is, does he call, or does he not think Jason has anything and goes the distance here on the flop? He decides to call, which is the decision I would definitely prefer. Yes, I'm good. And looks to play some post-flop. Now on the flop, Young only had two over cards as well as a flush draw. But now he's got an open ender to the nuts on both sides, a flush draw, 
and a queen or a jack would give him a strong pair. He's got the whole world, the whole world in his hand. Check. Check, check, though. Check. Ah, such a hand I had in. Straight. Ooh. Wow. How, how does his hand win? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and despite all odds, Jason Kuhn will take this one down for a small win. <laughs> how does that hand? How does that hand? <laughs> that is so sick. That is so sick. I'm trying to work out. I'm trying to work out how he can win. <laughs> None of this play is Polk approved. Did I mention I'm available for coaching? Back with more after this. Welcome back to the Playground Poker Club in Montreal, where we've seen more punting than the crowd at a Cleveland Browns game. 98 offsuit into the muck. Chartier has been tightening it up lately. Might be because he's down, but it's probably because he's been getting terrible cards. Guaranteed right yeah. here. Jakun raised up on the button to 300 with his king nine of spades. Thousand. Yong having none of it, three betting him again, this time with king jack. I like you, man. Uh, Twice in a row, he's three bet him and had him dominated. Six trade deuce, two spades, and Jakun flops a flush draw. It's going to be hard for Yong to take this one away from him, even though currently they are flipped to win. I'm sure kind of bored, though. That's. The five of spades will complete the flush for Jakun. But Young, with no spade, but one big heart, will fire the turn to the tune of $5,000. He makes the call, and we get a brick river. Now, if Young fires here, that money is never coming home. Bet 13,000. Jakun loses to only one hand. Raise it up on the river. Oh. Jakun getting a quick rally here, despite losing a big pot out of the gate. Ace Jack here for Elliot Smith. Okay, stay clean. Raise 400. Duthie makes the call on the button with the King Jack suited. Jakun calls on the small one with A7 of clubs. The price of poker has gone up, and the action's back over to Elliot Smith. Smith lets it go. Duthie lets it go. I see a trend here. But Jakun's having none of it. Just the two of us. Cool. These guys do love to battle. <laughs> Queen deuce deuce. Hard to imagine Check. how Jakun's gonna lose too much money here. Get Does have ace high and a paired board. Might be considering a flop float, but not too much playability on turns and rivers. Cool. Yang bets 3,000, gets the call from Jakun, and Yang turns top two. Reaching for chips, fires 7,000. 7,000. Now, with just ace high here, out of position, what can Jakun really do? Yeah, don't believe you are even this guy. I'll tell you what he can do. He can rock the call button and look to play the river. The 10 offers no help to either player, and Yang's reaching for chips. Now I know Jakun. He's a good high stakes player. He should be able to get away from this. He has all kinds of better hands. Ace queen, queen jack suited, king queen. Plenty of hands to where he doesn't have to call this. Ah, that's a really bad hand. What, what have you got? Ace high. He might really feel like Yang is bluffing. But you can't always call when you think you're behind. Sometimes you gotta practice a little discipline. You're right, I'm non believer. Okay. 
Good lay down here from Jacoon. Would have preferred to see a turn fold, but again, he did manage to get away in the river. Well, an ace in the river would have been so, you would have been so mad at me. <laughs> I've been like aces and deuces. <laughs> Poker Night is brought to you by Sit and Go 2.0. Go to sit and go 20.net and claim a free Sit and Go 2.0 strategy ebook. King Jack suited here for Chardier. I have to say, by the way, this is one of the friendliest tables I've ever seen. Jason Kuhn and Elliot Smith, two of the all-around nicest guys in poker. What a bull to raise that is. <laughs> Come on, then. I Young decides to cold call the throw with Queen-8 offsuit. Whatever happened to playing good hands? Kids these days. <laughs> it takes a bit of time to make us think he's got a hand in the decision. These guys are getting in here with just rags. Does money mean nothing these days? Anyway, two of our players connect with the flop. Shardy A flops the second up flush draw, and Duffy flops a pretty disguised double gut shot. He checks it back. Let's see the turn. Yong takes a stab here with actually just completely nothing. And now the action's back over to Chardier. Look, if I was playing against Yong, given what I've seen today, I'm just gonna call and then wonder how much I'm getting paid on the river. Duffy makes the call, drawing stone dead to his straight. He is hoping he doesn't hit it. He just doesn't know it. That card will cost Duthie money. The good news for Duthie is because the flush is out there, he shouldn't lose too much. The bad news is he's gonna get put in a brutal spot here as Yong bets 10,000. And now Chardier sort of has to raise his hand. He could call and maybe try to get Duthie to call behind. But if Chardier wants to win a big pot, he's gotta raise now and try and win all the chips. Raise. Now, Duthie's been playing good today. He started this table off down a bunch, and he slowly worked his way back to near even. But if he calls this, he will be down pretty much the entire size of the bet. Does he want to put his entire session on the line for a straight here? Hold. Hold. And the second nuts will take it down. Show, 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 show. I want to see. We're going to see it on telly later. I want to see what it was. It's on the stream anyway. I folded a huge hat. Wait till the stream shows. Well, wait till the stream. Wait till the stream shows, AKA, I had the nuts. I cannot show you an interesting card. Welcome back to Poker Night Presents Party Poker Live, where the blinds are 50 and 100 with an optional straddle. And then I said, I'm going to teach you three lessons of poker now and stats in three times. <laughs> Action folds to Yang in the button. He's probably going to play because he got dealt two cards. And he agrees with me because without even checking them, he puts money into the pot, raising the blinds. You're on pace. No, Pascal, he, you, he stacked me. You did me, tw you did me twice, Pascal did me once. Raise. Raise, 2,000. That is a big raise, what are you scared of? Why are you so scared? Don't play scared. I'm scared of you. Make it 1,200 yeah. and play your hand with positive EV. You do, hey, you do like under, Rob, big. you do understand that this represents money, don't you? This, <laughs> these chips, yeah? You do what understand that. I was just saying, yeah, we tend to forget about it. 7-3 <laughs> off is pretty much as bad as it can possibly be once you look at a random hand. Such a big bet, yeah? Big bet, big hand. Right? Big bet, big hand. 9-8-7. <laughs> <laughs> Le Francois flops a straight here, and Yong flops a pair. Check. What are you laughing at? Oh, dear God. This is deja vu. Bet 3,000. Now, Le Francois has learned from the antics of the table. He's seen Yong go nuts. He knows how aggressive this guy is. If he thinks Yong is strong, he could check raise. If he thinks he's weak, he should check call. That is a check raise. Nine thousand. 
I need to think now whether you make it 2009s or not. I don't know about you guys, but before I like to make multi-thousand dollar decisions, I have a little drink. Like it's probably going to be all in. How much is it? Still 20k, yeah? Yeah, close to 20, yeah. You feeling confident? I think you're ahead or behind. I don't like the 810. Now, Young has a clear fold and he knows it. But maybe he's not feeling the fold. Is that an orange, yeah? I swear I don't have a set of mice. Why, you really do want action, class. <laughs> wow. Come on, then, you're not on the street. Oh, you, you want to see it? Yeah. Oh! Look, he can't resist it. I wonder whether, do you know, 12. twice he's had 5.6. Three, 1,200. <laughs> now we're playing 2.4, I like it. Four. Queen 4, not what you want to see. Let's it go. 5-3 off for Young. Have to imagine he's going to play it. And we have some heads up action between Young and Lee Francois. The flop comes ace jack 10, and in back to back hands here, Lee Francois flops a straight, and Young does not have too much to fight it. Now, in general, betting here can be pretty good. However, can Young really continue with five high? I don't know what he's thinking about. Reaching for chips. Ah, oh, the check raise. 4,000. Quick check back, yep, still the nuts. And now what to do? Well, you simply have to call. You don't know what this guy's doing. Call. You have the nuts. He's been super aggressive. Let him have a chance to go the distance. The turn comes a king, creating two flush draws. This also might be a bit of a scare card that Young wants to represent. 4, what did Le Francois call the flop with? Probably a hand that has a king or a queen in it, so those hands have improved here on the turn. If he didn't improve on this card, he either already had a set or two pair. So this is not a great spot to be bluffing as Yong. Fires the turn and then fires the Eight river. Five. Now, the problem in this spot is once Yong has bet, when Lee Francois raises, which he eventually will, there is no shot he can get any value. 16. Raise 16,000, full. Share the 5-6. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the cookie jar. So we could play like Three. 200, 400 with a Three. 600 Three. ante from the big blind and nobody else anties. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, would be cool. It just stops the, and, and then like the bad pros that wouldn't, a bad pro, I call bad pro, wouldn't want to play that game anyway. Yeah. Just thought I was going to sit there and try and wait for the nuts. Yeah. It's tree. Because that's, 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 that's two people don't want to play against. Raise to 1,000. I have yeah. two. Le Francois feeling a bit high on life here. Two straights in a row. Time to go for a third one. But will Duthie give him action? Honestly, I could see Duthie doing anything here. I could see him folding, calling, or four betting. And he decides to four bet to a big size. This is a $3,500 four bet. I do not think 6'5 students gain the odds, but you know what? Sometimes. You gotta make sure the heater continues. He calls and let's take a flop. Ace, queen, jack. Both players catch good sized pieces. Bit of an interesting check with 6 5 suited, however. You have the flush draw. Why not bet and try and get him to fold some hands? At some point, Lee Francois is gonna have to start going for it. Yeah. Duthie has played this hand perfectly post-flop so far. He's trapped his hand and let his opponent try and take a stab at the pot. His hand's underrepresented, and it kind of looks like he has either a very weak ace or kings. 
about it, but once in a while I can play, but it's never like but when there's action. It's the just... river is where I no longer exactly understand what Dutty's going for. By betting, if his opponent was bluffing in earlier streets, he just folds. If he checked, who knows how much he would have won. I have to try. I had the 5-6. Our final tally here on the day. Looser is our biggest winner, up 11.6 thousand. We have plenty of other winners in that range, including Matt Glantz, John Duthie, and Pascal LeFrancois. Our losers today, Elliot Smith, Rob Young, and our biggest loser, Samuel Chardier, losing a little over 30,000, but he was down a lot more, so a nice comeback there from him. If you want more Poker Night, you can find us on social media, including Twitch and YouTube, where you can find full-length episodes, live streams, and exclusive content. Also, don't forget to download our free Poker app. You and your friends can have your very own Poker Night, as well as a chance to win a seat in our show. Search for us in your app store and download it today. For everyone here at Poker Night, I'm Doug Polk. Brought to you by Kimosabi Mezcal and Sit and Go 2.0. Yeah. You know, it's, it's just one of those things when you feel it. You know, I just like want to torch some money. It's a good place to do it. You're a nice guy. Yeah, I've been there too. <laughs> <laughs>